Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff and we're here with episode 45 of The Witcher. In the previous episode, we began chapter 4 by exploring the local village, or more accurately, the lakeside area. And also talked to a few people, including a Voidenoi priest, um, a, another of the nymph ladies, I believe is what she was addressed herself as, um, who wants us to eliminate some drowners, uh, the Fisher King, some elves that had it in a camp, and when we came to a crypt over there, we finally met Berengar, who obviously we've spent most of the game trying to find. Um, he didn't seem too keen to enlighten us with anything whilst we were being attacked by everybody, but he said if we met him outside, uh, don't know what that was, um, we could speak to him. So let us do so. All right, what's so urgent? I best start at the beginning. What's your connection to Salamandra? What the hell? It's a simple story. They found me some time ago, and the professor made me an offer I couldn't refuse. You know the kind. Help us, or we'll feed you your balls. I did what I had to do. It's funny. They remind me of witchers. Never had a choice, with them or you. The witchers made me a mutant. The professor made me a criminal. An outcast, twice over. I escaped as soon as I could. They got nothing out of me. I didn't sell anyone out. And then I came here. Hmm. I heard you're attempting to resolve the conflict between humans and the Vodianoi. What? Did they send you here to dissolve my contract? Fine by me. Take it. What contract? The one negotiating a peace between humans and the Vodianoi. Both sides came to me. I have no intention of pursuing it, and the job will fit your sainted legend perfectly. Do I sense envy? Don't flatter yourself. I have only contempt for people like you. Don't digress. My take? Call one of the two sides, and the rest will fall into place. Damn. You mentioned a suit of armor? You don't know the legend? I thought every little witcher had heard it. Tell me. The legend, as legends do, tells of a great warrior. It's more boring than Dandelion's ballad about you, which is hardly possible. But it turns out our hero employed witcher's fighting techniques while wearing armor. Was he a witcher? Who knows? Sounds interesting. They called him Raven. He had connections to gnome inventors with superior tactical knowledge. In their secret workshops beneath Mount Carbon, they created a suit of armor both durable and light. Perfect for a witcher. A legendary suit of armor. I should do some treasure hunting. Good luck. I suspect Raven was buried in it, and I have long scoured cemeteries in hopes of finding it. Know anyone who could tell me more about the armor? The local blacksmith is an inventor and knows the legend. You could also try the Elven Handyman. I'll do that. Yeah. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? By the Lady of the Lake's altar on the shore. Sometimes the dragon worshippers drive him away, so wait for him. If it's not beneath you. I see. Yeah. You mentioned an imperfection in my defense. Yes. You leave your groin open when you do a half spin. A beginner would notice. I even know why. Care to tell me? To do a half spin correctly, you need to have both legs in working order. One of yours was crushed once. Possibly. So it goes. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Farewell. Alright. That's interesting. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, we've got some new talents, so let's uh, put them to use. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a journal. So we've got two bronzes, two silvers. Um, how many bronzes do we actually have left? We've done all these, haven't we? Um, Ard and Igni are done. It's just Quen, Erden, and Axi, I think, that we need to do. So. I guess we'll level a couple up to level two, and then we'll work on the other bits later. Uh, silver talents, though. Uh, I think we'll get level 3 and 4 in Igni. That'll probably, probably be best. Uh, for now, I'm going to keep it to nighttime. Just because it will help us um, find everybody, but we will probably be switching to daytime a little bit later. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to that. So, uh, we are going to head on into Murky Waters, which is the, uh, the next stop on the road, basically. So, instead of going left down towards the crypt, we just carry on and should find ourselves going there.
So we're not quite going to the fields. I got that a bit mixed up when um, I said last time because obviously there's that other route. But I believe you can get to the um, to the hills from Murky Waters. So it's sort of like these three main locations we're going to be spending in. But we're probably going to spend most of this episode in this village because we've got a lot to do. A lot of people to speak to. Starting off with Dandelion. Harold. Dandelion. How did you get here? By teleport. Triss teleported me too. It was amazing. I always wanted to see what it's like. She did that for you? Must be having an off day. So why did Triss teleport you here? Let's say she saved me from the kiss of death. Interesting. Perhaps I'll use it in my new ballad. In any case, what a truly delightful place. Triss said we should stay here until Princess Ada stops dreaming of slitting your throat. I have to agree. So, tell me about this place. In prose, if you don't mind. It's a charming area, thoroughly magical in its mood. The peasants seem altogether happy, while the peasant women are, uh... Hmm... Dandelion. Something specific? Well, there's gonna be a wedding. Alina, the village mayor's daughter, will marry Julian, a wealthy merchant from Kovir. Then there are the Vodianoi. Oh, Alina's taking care of Alvin. Our Alvin? Well, yes, unless he has a twin. Damn it. <laughs> yes. Oh, I just remembered. Triss said you should watch him since others are after him. Or something like that. Anything else? I don't think so. Now to the tavern to meet some charming lass who'll get my spirits up. All right. Off you go. So, that's uh, something we are going to take up almost immediately. Uh, we're going to head down to the nearby village and look for Alvin. Although, thankfully, I'm able to know exactly where he is. So, we're not going down there just yet. We might do today. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so, just make our way down towards the village loot things as we can I just dumped, as you can see, I basically dumped all of my stuff, I didn't manage to sell any of it I just dumped it in the uh, the crypt and then left and came back and it had all despawned, so that's fine, I'm not too fussed about not making the money off it but um, yeah, it sucks a little bit but you gotta do what you gotta do, but I think within this episode we should be able to find somebody who can uh, get stuff for us uh, so we'll check out most of these places pretty soon. We want to find uh, Alina's house. That's where uh, Alvin is. So, I mean, if all else fails, we can just always... Oh, it's right there, actually. But uh, we can activate the Alvin quest. Have a look. Just nicking all these people's plants and stuff. You know how it is. Uh, still not 100% sure if um, the issues I'm having have been fixed, but we'll see. Good morning. Greetings. I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights, struggling against evil and villainy? Not exactly. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? You taking care of Alvin? Yes. He has such beautiful, big eyes. Mm-hmm. Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village, or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, would you be kind enough to look in on my fiancé? And perhaps see if my sister Selina can be found anywhere. Your fiancé spending time at the inn? We're not speaking. He's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Melitella, or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so again, we'll be dealing with that pretty soon as well. Uh, but here's the boy Alvin. Speak to him. Hi, Geralt. I have a new home. It's nicer than Vizima was. It's just that I missed you. You like it here? I do. 
Are we gonna kill monsters together? Alvin, fighting monsters is very dangerous. Promise you'll avoid it whenever possible. I promise. There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. Can we play kill the elf? Boy, I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the Grand Master. We'll talk later. Um, no. I was going to talk now, but... Sure. Yeah, we're not quite done yet. But... We've got to continue looting. Why do you seek me? Has Alvin been behaving strangely? He told some terrible stories. I thought him delirious. What did he say? Something about ghosts condemned to suffer eternally by unrequited love. It was so... Romantic, I know. I'll find him. Why do you seek me? Farewell. Okay. Odd indeed. Is that a new book? No, nope, it's not a new book, but we'll take it anyway. <laughs> Hopefully we can tell it to somebody who, you know, hasn't read it. Yes? You should stop playing Kill the Elf. I really like that game. I always win. Well, almost. Alvin. Okay, I'll stop. Alvin. I'm not done yet. Oh my god. I hate this game sometimes. I choose. You give me a farewell option. Yep. Then I expect I should be the one to choose that. How did you get to murky waters? I was learning the elder language with Triss. There was a terrible storm. Then Triss told me to hide under the bed. Go on. I heard heavy footsteps on the stairs. Then Triss got angry at those men. Angrier than she was when I colored her dress with magic paint that is only seen in the dark. I can imagine. I heard cries and people falling down the stairs, and I smelt burnt meat. Then more men came through the windows on ropes. They got Triss and beat her, I think. And a man in glasses asked her where I was. She said she teleported me to friend in Kovir. Where the air is clean and there are many things to do. What happened then? The one in glasses said something about playing with her, and Triss said you would find him and kill him. Mm -hmm. And then she kicked him between the legs and he started <laughs> crying. And the others were afraid to get close to her because she started casting spells. Yeah, Triss is good at taking care of herself. Don't worry about her. Then someone ordered the room to be searched and they found me. I ran and they chased me and I was running so fast. But then I tripped and they caught me. They put a sack on my head and led me somewhere. I was scared, more than in the outskirts. I shut my eyes and imagined I was far away from those people. Somewhere beautiful with the sun shining. And then Alina found me. I'm not lying. I believe you. I won't go back there. They'll hurt me. Trish should come here. It's all right. Let's see. I'll be good. I promise. Be good. I'll see you later. Oh dear, yeah, looks like he's had a tough time of it. Alright, just checking we've nothing left with Alina. What? No, okay. Alright. We're done with that. Now we should be finding someone called Adam, apparently. He should come to us, I think. Yeah, there he is. is he the betrothed? Greetings. I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. He busies himself performing a diversionary maneuver. A maneuver? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes. Hmm. You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. Well. And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. <laughs> well, that's that answered. Alright, I'm just going to go to his house, um, which we shall follow him to. Um, just, there's not going to be much here. Obviously, we can finish talking to him and then just basically raid the place. Uh, yep. Bits to loot. Of course, he's going to have like, a pretty torch in the cupboard. I don't know why, but there you go. Get on the floor, I don't need you. Um, right, let's just clear the rest of these bits out. Wait. Already read. Bloody hell. Bloody Geralt being so learned. The ring. 
Yes. Any elves around? They camp nearby, but look like nothing from epic poetry. Ill and starving. Many have perished. Are they peaceful? Entirely. Mr. Tobias sought to help them, but the she-elf leader refused human charity. Typical elves. Farewell. We're not for... Geralt. We're going to need to have words for you telling people farewell when we're not done with them. How's your poem? Oh, oh. <clears throat> your hands fine and slender, your hips big and tender, all night and all day, spin my head a painful way. Enough. Speak no more. Yes? <laughs> Bye. Shut your pie hole. All right, that's that. And we're gonna go to the blacksmith's house, which is conveniently right across the road. Now, I think the, the guy was expecting us to still be hanging around at night. Um, so, yeah, they're in separate beds. That is odd indeed. Greetings, what brings you here? A wonderful aroma. I'm cooking a traditional Temerian sauerkraut stew. Any work for me? If memory serves, a witcher is like a magical warrior. I slay monsters, drowners, kikamores. I'll doubtless need you sometime. Any work? Yes, I am having terrible trouble with my husband. What happened? That old fool found himself a succubus. Thinks I can't hear them frolicking at night. I'm to get rid of the succubus? I learned an old folk remedy from my mother. I'll need nine handfuls of glimmering dust from the hair of noon wraiths in the fields. What about payment? I have this herb manual listing local herbs. Bring herbs. me dust to scare off the succubus and you'll have the book. I'll take the job. Deal. Uh, okay. Uh, this is going to be fun. I'm not done yet. Master Witcher. Remind me what to do. Bring me nine handfuls of glimmering dust from the noon wraiths in the field. These phantoms only come out in daytime. You must be an excellent cook. Oh, it's nothing. My husband slaughtered a pig, and I decided to make sauerkraut stew. I have other specialties. My stomach is rumbling. You're quite thin. I made ribs in mead yesterday. Care for some? All right. Gladly. There you are, bless you. Farewell. Oh, she's nice. Received pork. You, sir, step here. What is it? I overheard you speaking with my wife. I have an offer for you. Not interested in parting with your charming demoness? My wife exaggerates about the frolicking. As a man, you understand innocent entertainment harms no one. What do you propose? A fork spell will put the succubus to sleep for a while. My wife will calm down and afterwards, I can quietly awake the succubus. What do you need? Nine handfuls of shadow dust from devourers. They appear in the fields at night and are very dangerous. What will I get in exchange? I have red meteorite which can improve your sword. Or perhaps you'd prefer gold. Say, 500 orins? I'll help. Not a word to my wife. Hmm. You asked for help. What did you want me to do? Bring me nine handfuls of shadow dust. To do that, go to the fields and kill several devourers, from which you can scrape the dust. Farewell. No, stop farewelling. Uh, I don't wish to help, though. Hmm. Yes? Beringer mentioned you know the legend of Raven. I know nothing about the legend. I'm more interested in technology. That armor was a breakthrough in armor design, made possible by advances in metallurgy and smelting. Very interesting. About the armor. I can tell you about its qualities. Good, but remember I know little about metallurgy or smithery. Three elements remain of Raven's armor. A spalder, a rear brace, and a gauntlet. The highest quality iron ores and state-of-the-art technologies were used in its making. Not some useless Timerian smelting pots. The gnomes surpass us technologically by an age. 
Beneath Mount Carbon, they have blast furnaces and quenching tanks. Equipment beyond our reach. Can you tell me about the armor? As you wish. The technologies I mention allow for the production of steel both hard and flexible, essentially indestructible. As I said, only parts of the armor remain. To recreate the entire suit, you must find replacement material and someone to assemble the parts. Any suggestions? Search crypts where great knights were interred. I heard the counts of the Reuter dynasty wore similar armor. Pieces of that should be reforgeable. Farewell. All right, interesting, interesting. Uh, oh, we nearly forgot the cheese, people. We nearly forgot the cheese and the chicken leg. That's just that's insane. Okay, um, so could a couple more people to check out? We've got uh, the baker's house. So it's the chief, so we don't want the chief. But the baker. Don't know where the baker be. Probably in this side of the village, I should think. Just loot some things as we're going past. Uh, right. Okay. Hmm, right. Let's see, let's see. And from there we can get the bread that we need. So Selene is again. It's double-ended. Oh, come on. Come on, Geralt. What well, could be, dude? Uh, it's just a door, doesn't really say. Uh, we'll check out all these later. Oh, never mind. Okay, drop you again. Uh, hmm. Just curious. Where's the bakers? It's just the cow again. Um. Cleaners, President Cow, Bakers, that's the one. Alright, where are uh, you? You are down this way. Ah, there it is. How do we get up there? It's like pulling teeth. There we go. Now we're getting it. Just re reading everything in the process. As you do. Alright, there we go. Finally. Didn't expect that to be quite so difficult. Uh, four pieces of bread. Didn't get everything I needed there, though, so. Let's see. You followed the aroma of my fresh bread? You could say that. All my goods contain finest flour. And a secret ingredient from a grateful nymph? I need something. How may I help? Hmm. Have any other secret ingredients? Sadly. Though I know one recipe I haven't been able to try. What's that? Can't say. I would need white honey. Though I know not what that is. Hmm. Do I have white honey? It's a potion. Oh, I do. I've got three, in fact. White honey! Incredible! I could now try my secret recipe! Can I...? Take the doll and go before I change my mind. Uh, okay. Sugar doll. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, I should have kept the sugar doll. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, try going in and out again. Or out and in, I should say. You must have loved that sugar doll. Help me. You know what witches do? Of course. Witches are like sorcerers, but worse. Worse. Yeah. Their balls are wilted. <laughs> <laughs> Got one in the family? Ooh, bad luck. <laughs> uh, did we did we get five pieces of bread? We've got four. We need another piece. Oh, yes, buildings count as well. Alright, I was going to say, because we... Um, or maybe, I don't know. Uh, we'll grab another piece, just in case. Um, get rid of... I'll keep some bits, because I know that we do need to give some food in a moment, but we'll just get rid of most of it, I should think. Uh, hmm... 
Right. Just trying to keep in mind what we actually need to keep. So sell those. Sell the cheese. I know. It's heartbreaking, guys. Sell those two. We'll keep the bread. We definitely need the bread. We need some regular food and we need a honeycomb as well. So I'm going to do that. I think that should cover us. All right. Thank you, my friend. Right. Um, now we are going to see Selena and the chief. Selena being um, Alina's sister, I think is what they said. So let's have a look. I know where the chief says. Chief is. I oh, can't remember now. There's the, chief, the chief's house. Uh, Selena is down this way, so I want to check hers out first, apparently. So, let's go and do that. I don't know how many of these are going to be open. Like places we can just loot. Oh, come on. Oh, for goodness sake. No, you know, we'll come back for it. Uh, where are we going? This is far away from anything else, isn't it? This guy's taking me all over the goddamn place. Okay, do we get in? Oh, there we go. Uh, right, okay, let's read that. Tobias Hoffman. Okay. Cheese. A sack over there. Greetings. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Ha <laughs> ha! I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Well, oh, how yourself? Beastie Beta, what brings you here? <sighs> Beastie Beta. Why was he in here and not in the village chief's house? That's I wanted weird. to talk to you about the Vodianoi. Julian's in charge of that business. Business? He fishes treasures from the lake, renovates them, and sends them to markets in Vesiba. Hmm. Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. Tell me more. About what? Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold I nearly froze. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying about them. I see. There's also the fish people. A scourge on our lives. How so? They got vicious. Driving us away from the water, wounding some of us, and killing a few. Julian knows more. I'll have a talk with him. Beastie Beta? <laughs> Stop calling me that. Non -humans are Ale, there is I heard there's going to be a wedding. Yes, my dear daughter Alina is marrying a gallant, hard-working, and honest fellow. You know the joy that finding a good lad for your daughter brings? No? Thought not. Fighting is all your kind thinks about. That's not quite true, but... Listen, got any jobs for a witcher? There are more urgent matters. We'll need to discuss that another time. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? He's often sitting by the altar of the Lady of the Lake. Sometimes he's driven off by Dagon's worshippers, but he always returns. I see. Oh, come on. Couldn't just let me... <laughs> Beastie. Farewell. Very well. Alright, we're done with that then. Let's go to the Chief's place then, even though he's in a completely different house for some reason. Uh, so we're going to head there for this one, don't we? Uh, we are coming up to the end of the episode, so I think we'll check out this place and then we'll wrap up. Not quite as much as I want to get done today, but there was a lot of talking involved, so I'm not that surprised. Um, but it means I don't have to worry about keeping all crapping about uh Ugh, for goodness sake. 
uh, me checking out random houses and looting them. So I think this is the last one that is specifically mentioned. Uh, yeah. So this is the last one where there's going to be something significant here. Uh, oh, actually, no there isn't. I think it depends what time of day it is because we needed to speak to the uh, to the chief. Obviously it depends whether or not he's in here during the day, I think, or in Selena's during the night. I was expecting Selena to actually be in here, but it seems not. She might be at the inn, to be honest. Uh, yeah, we've just hit 30 minutes, so let's wrap up there. Let's have a look at our journal. So we've got daily bread. We've finished that now. Uh, we've got Alvin and armor, ripples, temptation, the heat of the day, the paths of destiny. My word, we've picked up a lot, haven't we? Uh, did we have any that we finished? I don't think we did. Let's just check anyway. No, don't think so. We're too early on to be finishing quests this chapter. Uh, we got Adam. We got Alina. Uh, that's it for that. Surprised uh, Baron Guard didn't update again. Locations, nothing. Monsters, not even fought off any monsters. It's literally just been talking to people the entire time. Um, I know some people could find those episodes interesting, you know. Get to know the people, get to know the story. I mean, it is a completionist guide if you just want to just want to just do straight do the story. I'm sure there's plenty of them. But if you've not noticed 45 episodes in that we're um, sticking around and taking the slow route, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I'll probably clear all this off off screen. I'll clear out the rest of like the plants and the random houses and see if there's anything interesting to loot. I'll let you know if there's anything interesting I find, but I think they're all just generic houses. So, uh, let's just get that ticked off. Go. Thank you. And we'll save the game there. So, yeah, very well done, guys. Well, I don't know why I'm congratulating you. You just watched along, but I mean, if you survived the entire episode of going through nighttime having conversations with people, you know, well done anyway, you know. Much appreciated for sticking out through the whole thing. But, yeah, next time we will be spending a little bit more time talking to people. Uh, notably, we're going to be grabbing some stuff from the blacksmith the other day where he sells things. Um, and speaking to all the random people who sometimes give us things. Some give us romance cards, you know, that sort of thing. And then when we're done with all that, we'll head down to the inn and get that stuff advanced. So, yeah, that's what we're going to end it for today, but not before I thank my amazing patrons. My £5 plus patrons are Ron Hyler, Ever the Snake, and Andrew Corbin. You can find the links to their channels as well as my other £3 plus patrons in the description down below. And on screen, you'll see a credit to all my £1 plus patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It's truly appreciated, and it goes a long way to helping the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you wish to join those patrons, you can follow the link in the description down below to my Patreon page, where you can pledge up to £20 and make a huge impact on my channel. But you don't have to do that, because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and also be sure to share the video. And I will see you guys in episode 46. Bye, guys.